<laughs> That's the way to start it. Oh, you missed it. The pre-camera uh, hijinks are shit. awesome here. Man. Um, so Phoebe Bridges' guitar that she smashed on Saturday Night Live just sold for a whopping $101,500. I was tracking this, I think it was yesterday. Worth every penny. You know, when the first bid came in at $5,000, I was like, man, that's a lot of money. That's impressive. Then I woke up this morning, I was like, what the F? And it, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's what you said. No, I did. It's I, great. Like, Derek is like, he's like uh, what? No. And it's for, it's a Dan Electro, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's, a, it's a terrible guitar. That was, um. I mean, no offense. It's not like, it's not like <laughs> sorry, Dan Electro, it's not like a terrible, but like compared to like what you think a $100,000 guitar right, would right. be. But I mean, that's kind of the charm of Dan Electros, right? I mean, it's like, they're kind of the, not good. Yeah. Yeah, it's like um, it's like any of those early sort of fifty Sears Robux guitars too. Like they're crappy. It was probably used on a White Stripes record. I want it, you know. And it's got you play it through loud amp and a fuzz. Sounds heavenly bad. Awesome. Um, so yeah, it sold for a lot of money, and that sort of just opened up the idea of like, how why are some guitars selling for outrageous amounts? Why are some not selling for what maybe they, as much, maybe and or at all, or at all? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we'll get into that guy. You know, we, we talked about Clapton's guitar. We did. That that the infamous hardtail strat, and that was a fifty four, I believe, too, right? Somewhere in there. Like, and they started the bidding at half a million. Yeah, it was a no starter. Um, but then you know, it wasn't going to charity. Right. This uh, now, so this one, so we are happy. This, uh, I think, all the proceeds went to charity, like one hundred percent of them, I, besides the auction fees, probably because the auction house, like, I need my money. Um, now, hopefully, that's not the case. Um, I didn't do enough research to find out. And by enough, he means zero. <laughs> we read some headlines. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's pretty much on this one. It just kind of caught us. Out. I was like, man, that's insane. Because <laughs> I think that's like the same price as maybe slightly less than what Kirk Hammett's Strat went for that he did the one. Wow. Guitar solo and the video and, and Justice for All. One of the most, I think it's one of the most pivotal metal records ever. It is. You know, if you're a bass player, you don't like me saying that. I get it. Um, I have done more research on that because I actually like that record a lot. But um, it made that a little more accessible and mainstream, right? That record, it would you say? It was the sort bridge of to the, the Black Album, yeah. which I, and Justice for All is like my jam. I remember having like the song book my parents bought me as a kid. I'm like It was probably like $15, which was a lot of money back yeah. in those days. For like a book of like, and they're like, "What's this?" And they didn't know it was like devil music at the time. They're like, "Here's this cool music." My our son likes music. I'm like, "Hail Satan!" <laughs> Justice for all, great, <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Boy, he, he probably wants to be a prosecutor. He's so civic minded <laughs> or a defense attorney. <laughs> no, so, yeah. So that guitar went for the same price. Um, and Prince's guitar just sold one. One of his guitars, a lot of his, has been selling off recently. Um, that now went for half a million. Which is what the start price was for the Clapton guitar. We're not getting into like, oh, it's Clapton's thing. Again, charity. Right. That is the key. And when David Gilmore's guitar sold, charity. When Clapton's guitars, like the bulk of them sold, charity. Charity. It's all like it, it depends. People actually are conscious of what they're giving their money to, and they know that this guitar is not worth a hundred thousand dollars. But what? <laughs> because a, it's smashed, right? <laughs> But I mean, well, even if it was, let's say, <laughs> it's a smash guitar. No, well, let's, well, I mean, like, let's say, put it, it back was together. Jimmy Hendrix is from Woodstock, right? You know, or something that that's worth well over five thousand dollars. <laughs> no, but um, we're in a yes. giddy mood today. This is this whole thing just got us got us funny. I think, but um, no, it's a, but it's going. This was all the charity. I went to Glad, um, which is a great charity. So it's it's awesome. Like everything went. I think everything went to it again. Research minimal on this one. Story caught us off our socks. Loved it. Um, it's just fun to see how this happens. Like, what is going on this past year? What? I don't think we know. I think if we learned anything, it's that we have no idea what's going on. Uh, yeah, I mean, because I've been, I have been deep in research on some other videos that are coming out later this week or before. I don't even know when they order. Derek just he's this sort of wizard. And he just he punks just puts us. Them out. Yeah, we he, don't know. he doesn't. We know. don't know we what's don't know coming out. He's like, hey. And like when he puts us in wardrobe, when we go to the wardrobe department, <laughs> shh, go with me here. Like it's really important. We really, really work through those <laughs> to make sure it fits with the thematic ideas That's of the right. show. It's true. Um, no, but um, I am really excited. I'm gonna talk about this every time I wear this shirt from now on. Top Gun That's fair. is coming out in November, finally. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to come out last summer, but then COVID sort of squashed that. The release date has set for, I think, November 19th in no. theaters. I will be there. 
this is not a political statement. I'm going to be there because I remember going to see the original Top Gun with my father. I'll wear a gas mask if they make me. I'm going to be in the theaters. I wish I had those seats that still shook around, those little horrible... You That'd pay extra awesome. like five dollars. I could sit behind you and shake you. <laughs> yeah. Some happens. <laughs> oh <my> God, they're, <laughs> they're like dump water on me when they crash in the ocean or something. <laughs> Stop it! Nothing's happening. No, if you haven't seen the original Top Gun, go see it now. I've already watched it with all my kids. It's probably inappropriate. It but, absolutely is, but I mean, still, there, it's I mean, amazing. Yeah, but it's got Kenny Loggins Goose. in it. Goose. Yeah. Oh my God, Anthony Edwards. I mean, the whole movie's. It is perfect. If MTV music videos were a movie, that is it, and it's. Glory and Tom Cruise and his, if you don't like Tom Cruise, there's something wrong with you. You're not an American if you don't like Tom Cruise. I'm gonna say it right now. It's a firm statement. Every, a bold statement. Almost almost every movie he's ever made is amazing. Right? Almost every movie. Like there's probably a couple duds out there. I can't think of any right Even now. Even sometimes when I'm like, oh, this won't be good. It actually they're they're almost always good. Almost every movie. Like, I mean, you go back to the classics like Rain Man and all that junk and Days of Thunder, which is Top Gun Part Two, in my opinion. Which That's is true. anyway, Top Gun yeah, on the ground. I mean, but like, all, like Live Die Repeat, which was based off the Japanese book All You Need Is Kill, which is amazing, by the way, as well. Great book. I highly recommend it. Totally different ending than the movie, and it was like a 19-year-old Japanese infantryman, and, and not the PR thing to make it somehow palpable to be Tom Cruise. So there wonderful you go. book. Totally different ending. Awesome ending. I would say it's better than the original movie's ending. <laughs> I'm not going to give it away. No spoiler alerts. But we'll go watch that movie. I put that, that, all you need is kill, Pride and Prejudice, fantastic coupling. What about Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies? I, I couldn't get through it because I like Pride and Prejudice so no. much. It was just offending me. That, That's but, but I love zombie movies. World War Z is my jam. <laughs> and the book is my jam, too. The book is great. That you've read, have you read World yeah. War Z, the book? I've read I it, like I think, five times. I think, mm, it's I've in the read, bathroom I've right read there. read it twice. I did not read it in the bathroom. Here. Have you read the, the Zombie Survival Guide? Yes. Written by the same author. Yes. Max Brooks, the son of Mel Brooks. Max Brooks' job was he's hired by the government as well to come up with the like, plans of like if worldwide pandemics, weird, happen, or like if the like, economic collapses, he's like a think tank genius guy that comes up and he wrote the Zombie Survival Guide as a joke, became a huge hit, made a lot of money, and then World War Z came out later, completely different than the movie, love both of them equally and separately. The book was really The book's awesome. phenomenal. The book it's, is awesome. I mean, the, ba cool. the Battle Looks of awesome. Yonkers, that chapter, whew, when the zombie it's hordes cool. come up from New York City. It doesn't end well. That is a good spoiler alert. Never, nothing ends well in a zombie no. thing because you don't have showers anymore. It's true. How stinky would that be? Oh, pretty stinky. Back to um, so guitar auction. Charities, charity. So, so yeah, if you're so if you're planning on selling your guitar or doing anything, link it to a charity. It will do a lot better, and it just brings eyes to it. It's fun. Like I'm, I'm psyched that she because Phoebe's been like all over. Like a lot of our young guys that work here at the shop, like they've been listening to this music. Their girlfriends have been listening to this music. So like I got exposed to. It. I was like, this is really good music. Yeah. I, I probably never listened to, and I like that I was exposed to it before the um, guitar smash going SNL. Yes. Just not being like, oh, like we've been listening to it for the past year. Right. I had to get James to stop listening to it so much because it was like, Pause. It was like it's always on. I'm getting depressed. I want to kill myself. <laughs> It's really good, sad music. Would you say you like her as much as The Counting Crows? Uh, Baxter hates The Counting Crows. I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't, <laughs> he does. I, don't, he I, just, I, just, I really hated them like back when they were around, I think. And, like, I, I like them more like now that I have distance from them. It's, it's, it, it, there was a thing that I was like, I can't listen. Mr. Jones would come on and I would just lose my mind. I'm like, no, stop it. That's the only music I've ever heard in the shop where you were like, no, 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 turn that off. I can't listen. Can't I mean, because Sean like put like all this '90s stuff because he's like a he's a kid. He's twenty. Uh, right. Like he thinks it's cool. Like, yeah, this is cool, man. Let's listen to some County. And Club. I love the County Crest. When I want to be really sad and depressed. But he won't. He doesn't listen to like um, Black Crows in a cool referential. And that band is like super. They, I heard them on the radio the other day. Oh my god, they're so good. Aren't they so good? They are really. good. You forget like, the guitar tones coming they're out of the nineties. Pretty amazing. It's. it's I like, mean, it's pretty like, freaking like, good. Like oh, 1994. Like these guitar tones are righteous. Yes. It sounds like it's coming out of 1964. It's pretty good. Those stupid Robertson brothers. Those bastards of tone. Um, yeah, so congratulations to Phoebe and the charity that made all this money. I think, again, it was just a guitar of such little note for like, just one small performance. That wasn't even like a, like a, a like, you know an epic, changing moment. It wasn't a Woodstock. It wasn't a Monterey. It was, but it's, but maybe it was just it's cool. I think people are having fun with this. Right. This was like a fun moment. It happened fast. That's the way to do it too. I think so too. Because we live in an age of TikTok where everything is immediate. And if you don't like it, I'm going up. It's like dating, I'm going left or right. I don't know Tinder. If you go left or right when you don't like someone, help us. I don't know about any of these things. 
I have no idea what Tinder None is. None of these things. I do, but I don't. I've never used it. It's true. We can ask some of the other people that work here if they use it. I think Sean used it. He's like young too. <laughs> I would. I would I believe that's true. Um, so let us know what you think. Like, and some other auctions. Like, you know, bring up some other fun ones that we didn't bring up. Like the ones. There's some, there's a lot of other little ones we left out. We talked about Prince. We talked about Clapton. We talked about um, that fella from Pink Floyd. What's Sir, his name? Sir Gilmorius. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. That guy. I know whenever you hear like great tone or a great solo, that sounds like David Gilmore, but not. Because it's, <laughs> it sounds like you're trying to be David Gilmore. Um, no, it's uh, like, yeah, he's, yeah, he's pretty much a wizard of the guitar. Um, he, did, he did something else recently too. He, he, he had a whole, I just read an article about him. He was talking about just people practicing and like trying to, to get better. He's like, he said, people always mistake, you need to just learn how to relax. That's true. That's the key to like how he plays so fluidly. And it's like, I, I get into that too about yoga. I try anything, like if it's Taekwondo, Tai Chi, yoga. No, yeah, get rid of tension. Tension is your enemy when you're playing. I mean, our Taekwondo maybe isn't the best because like we're, I think we're taking with Cobra Kai. Yeah. They, they're teaching us how to kill people. I mean, I was hoping we'd have more. Every time they made me punch those little kids, I feel bad about it, but. <laughs> he, he, like, he knocked a 14 year old <laughs> down so bad. You did. You like, you sent him through the wall almost. That was, you did the kick thing and it's like, boom! Like, it was like Mortal Kombat. It happened. He's, anyway, that's it. Phoebe, Phoebe, congratulations for your sale. That was, that was amazing. We love it. There you go. Sell your guitars, give the money to charity, buy new guitars. Perfect. <laughs> Done. I'm leaving. <laughs> Hit like and subscribe. Click the bell if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you hanging out with us.